Howdy guys, it is Matt with Tabletop Rebellion and today we are looking at the Exceed Fighting System. Now, I first saw this at PAX South and Level 99 Games had a booth where they were giving out demo packs that had Ryu and Ken from Street Fighter. Uh, and it was just a little head-to-head -head, uh, card-based fighting game. Looked like a lot of fun. Um, Level 99 was kind enough to send us a review copy of one of the new Shovel Knight boxes and then two of the standalone uh, decks, one from Dead Cells and one from a robot named Fight. And so we're going to do a full review of these later, but I thought you might enjoy just an unboxing first to see what's in the box. So we're going to start with this Shovel Knight one. Let's open it up. Has a rule book, says 2020 on it. I'm assuming they probably keep this updated occasionally. Uh, the system's been around for a few years, even though I wasn't really very familiar with it prior to uh, prior to uh, PAX. Advertisement for Pixel ta Tactics. I think we probably all know Pixel Tactics. All right, on the top we have some deck boxes. Let's open these up. Looks like they have deck boxes for all of the different characters that come in here. So we are going to get the Polar Knight. We are going to get the Treasure Knight. We're going to get the King Knight. And we're going to get the Plague Knight. Now, before we go any further, I should be honest and tell you guys that I have never actually played Shovel Knight. It looks great. I love the aesthetic. I've heard wonderful things, but I haven't played it. So I don't know anything about these different characters. Um, but this is the Plague Knight box. There is another box for Shovel Knight um, that has four different characters in it. Little erotic card on the top here. Just clarify some of the uh, contents it looks like. We have a small package of cards here. Let's go ahead and get this open. If I'm not mistaken, these are kind of the like location cards where you uh, that you put your characters on during the fight. Um, so at PAX they were selling, and you, and you can find them on the website, uh, these really nice neoprene mats where you could put your characters. This is a, a two-dimensional fighting game really, but in card game form, and so your characters will move around. Um, but my understanding is that in the uh, in the just out of the box you use these little cards instead which you can kind of chain together and then your characters go on those so that works okay um, I have to admit that I much prefer the neoprene mat um, so if you like this game it might be worth investing in one of those okay here's the the stuff that we're really excited about the treasure knight deck the plague knight deck the Polar Knight deck, and this then must be the King Knight, so the King Knight deck. Um, those are all of all four that come in the box. Uh, we're going to go ahead and crack open the Plague Knight, I guess, since that is, since that's the name of the box. So we have the actual character card uh, here. Um, it is double-sided, which is significant, and we'll talk more about that when we review the game. This is actually just a reference card for your opponent. I love this idea that you hand this to your opponent at the start of the game, and they can see kind of all of the stuff that you can do. So they know what your uh, abilities are, and they know uh, about the cards in your deck. Each deck in Exceed has a few standard cards that are common among all decks in the system, but then there are character specific cards, and so they can kind of see what those are, and they know do you have more long ranged attacks, do you have faster attacks or slower attacks, what's your armor like, um, which is, is really handy. Here's a player aid card, just reminds you of the actions that you can take during your turn, and then these would be the cards for your actual deck, and like I said, we'll talk more about this later, but um, you can see just some of the artwork really captures that Shovel Knight feel. They did a really good job with this. And then of course the special cards. So that's the, uh, the Shovel Knight box. Um, they also sent a robot named Fight and a Dead Cells box. These are just standalone decks um, that you can pick up and they are fully playable out of the box actually. I mean there's not really anything else that you'll need. You notice we didn't unbox any tokens or anything. If you have these cards or 
like I recommended the mat which is better and a deck then you can play against somebody else so here is a robot named fight and one thing that I really love about these deck boxes um, is that they will fit your your card sleeve so you'll notice this doesn't actually take up very much space in the box but that's because you can sleeve up this deck and then it'll fit in there perfectly I love that fantastic way of dividing up your decks just a really nice touch from level 99 here's the dead cells box um, I just want to show you that all of them have kind of a slightly different aesthetic based on the theme so you'll see that the uh, the dead cells cards look more like del dead cells cards but the iconography is uh, is common between them even though it's not exactly the same symbols here right so each set kind of has its own feel um, but still there's enough commonality between all of the sets that you can easily mix and match them and by the way you are supposed to mix mix and match them so you can play shovel knight versus street fighter uh, versus dead cells um, you can mix and match all of the different properties and we will talk more about that when we do the review but this is just a quick unboxing I hope you liked what you see and definitely stay tuned because we will be taking a deeper look at this one so this is Matthew signing off uh, for Tabletop Rebellion we'll see you next time